This is a demonstration of the SmartDraft text tools. This video will demonstrate the text panel on the SD text ribbon. The first command that we will talk about is text parallel or tangent. The command alias is TW. This command adds text to a drawing parallel to a straight segment or tangent to an arc segment using the current textile and layer. So if I was to select this straight segment, it starts the text command. I select the insertion point, parallel, to an arc, selecting this arc, at the point that I select, will be tangent to that arc segment. It does not matter if the line segments are within a polyline, within a block, or XREF. It will be able to read that straight segment or arc. The next command is the SmartDraft arc text command, which creates SmartDraft arc text. You select your curve. You can see what the image is going to be like. As you can see, as it gets smaller, it is actually using that radius point to determine the curvature of the text. And it actually gives you an option to reverse that text. There is a SmartDraft edit text command ed where you can go back and add more to the string. Also with the smart draft text tools if you right click you'll notice that it added some additional commands to the menu. One of them is reposition arc text where you can actually keep that text concentric to the radius point originally selected and move it around. The next command is a sequential numbering command. This command allows you to add text to a drawing with a prefix and suffix and a incremental number or letter. You can specify the starting value, let's say in this example 1. The increment value could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever number you in indicate. A prefix, if you so desire, and if you want to space between the number and the prefix, add it there. A suffix, do I want to add new text to the drawing using the current text and layer, or do I want to replace text that's actually in the drawing? The justification that you want to use, and if you start the command, specify the rotation angle. Now as I select a point, I'm actually adding that text incrementally. If I change it to letters, I could do the same thing, increment with a letter instead of a number. The next command is add note, a very productive tool or productivity enhancement tool. Have you ever wanted to add text at the end of some existing text, that, but you don't know what the angle is, you don't know what the layer color is, so you just copy it down and then you edit it. But you're still guessing on the spacing. With this command, you select the text, it automatically goes down the AutoCAD standard spacing, changes to the layer of that text, and starts the text command, and I can add text. I'll select the next one. And if it's at an angle, it does the same thing. If it happens to be M text, it starts the M text editor. Next is a dialog box interface for the text command. So it actually will start the text command or the M text command, specify a justification from the beginning, and then you allows you as the user to select a new style from all the text styles that are currently in the drawing. Again, using the current layer. The next command is adding text to the drawing, but allowing you to specify a different text spacing than the standard text spacing. If I want to say 12, so let's say if I was doing a legend, you can see now that that spacing is 12 instead of the standard spacing. Next is our text math tool. So let's zoom in down here to some numbers and a table. Text math tool allows you to do mathematical functions to text that's from the screen. And it doesn't matter if the text 
has some prefixes or suffixes or other text around it. If it finds a number within a string, it just grabs the number. It allows you to do various operations. So if we go in here and look at the operations, add, subtract, multiply, divide, you can actually adjust numbers that you select. Here would be an, an, an option to, if you wanted to do a multiplication factor, you can actually convert from metric to imperial, imperial back to metric on the output adding a prefix or suffix and if you're going to be doing a lot highlighting them so you don't select it again output types would be creating a new text string replacing text strings or just getting your results out to the screen when you actually put the results do you want it to put commas in the thousands place what precision do you want the output number to be so if I have addition I select this as a hundred 0.5, so now I'm sitting at 100.5. Have a total, and I want a text, select a piece of text to replace it. So now it's cleared the value, so I can select 1,000, pick 0.5, total that up, and have 1,000.5. E to exit the command. Next, we have some tools to import text from an ASCII file. AutoCAD allows you to do that with mText, but this is bringing you back to standard text if you want to use that. Select a text file. One of the options that it allows is to convert all the characters to uppercase, specify an insertion point. It also gives you the ability to specify a wider text spacing, but the default text spacing for the current text style will show, and you can just accept that. And the last text tool on the text pan this text panel is exporting text out to an ASCII file. We do have some options here. When selecting text, it can sort by coordinates, and no matter how I select it, it will sort it by the coordinates going from higher to lower coordinates. It doesn't matter if you have a view twist, it will be able to calculate the higher to lower coordinates even if the view is twisted. Or instead of sorting by coordinates, it will can keep the sort order as you selected it, if you wanted to, to rearrange the text and export it out to a file, you can say, I want to use the selection order. Let's say you were grabbing a bunch of individual sections, but when you export it out to a text file, you wanted all the spacing to be removed so that it would be like one paragraph. You could use this word wrap option, and instead of it being hard returns between each individual text string that you select, it would actually remove all those hard returns and make it one long paragraph or sentence or whatever it happens to be. You can see I'm just going to use the selection window, specify a file, save that file. We can go out to the hard drive, find the file that we just created, open it, and you can see that the text file is sorted in the coordinate order. This concludes the demonstration of the Smart Draft text tools on the text panel of the SD text ribbon. Thank you.